Hi everyone, just let me get set up. I know, twice in one day, what is going on? Okay, so we're back again. Round two. Get a bit fancy doing two lives in one day, tell you what. All right, so let's get into it. These bedside tables, if you didn't watch this morning's live, definitely go back. Um, it's like the post before this. I don't think I've posted since then. So go back a post. Definitely give that a watch because it's going to show you where we're, what we've done and where we're up to. So because I've already talked about all that, we're going to go straight in with the hemp oil. So it's now, it's just after one and I did these 9.30 to 10 o'clock. So it's been about three hours. You can do this once they're touch dry, but ideally I like to wait a minimum of two hours. That way you just make sure, like it dries super, super fast. The stain glaze dries very, very fast. But ideally you want to be waiting a good couple of hours just to make sure it's 100% dry, okay? Um, I only did the one coat. I haven't done anything else to them since you saw the live this morning, okay? So, hemp oil. You can, the Stain and Glaze has a built-in top coat, um, which means that you do not need to put anything over it to protect it. The same as uh, Pure Eco Silk Finish, which has the built-in top coat as well. Okay, it's the same concept. You don't need to seal it. It is very hardy as it sits. Once it's done its thing, it's fully dried and it's cured, you're good to go, okay? So about seven to 10 days as normal. And as I always say, everybody's environment is different. So it always comes down to that. But I would have no hesitations using this within the next couple of days, okay? Um, but I like to come in with either Pure Eco's hemp oil or with, um, I'll show you or this one, three options for wax. Or with a wax, uh, I I never go in with a top coat over it. Um, and I'll explain why in a minute. But I go in with the hemp oil, which we're going to use today, or with a wax. So we've got three options for wax. I know this says white. Look, you can use a colored wax over it if you wanted to. But we've got Pure Eco's liquid wax. We've got Pure Eco's Beeswax Polish, which is a traditional style wax. Uh, the liquid wax is like a very thick body butter, hand cream sort of thing, okay? And the traditional wax is, let me see if I can peel this sticker today. Oh, actually, I might not even need to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So anything about having them in tins, you can't see. So that's the traditional wax. It's still very, very soft, very pliable but it's poured into the tin and it sets in the tin. Kind of like how you pour a candle into a jar and then it sets, but you can still sort of, if you really push at it, you're going to put a dent in it, yeah? And then I've also got, and my sticker is over the emblem, but it's a bee, but we've got Hemp Bee Creatives, uh, Bees Wax and Hemp Oil Wax. Now I like this one because it's got the hemp oil in it. Hemp oil is incredibly nourishing for your timber. It is up to you. That ding just made me so happy. Thank you for whoever just placed that order. Um, hemp oil is incredibly nourishing for timber. Very, very nourishing. And when you combine it with beeswax, it is absolutely incredible. So this is one of my favorite waxes to use. Um, if I don't have this on hand, either of these are just as good. It's just that I like hemp oil. It's up to you. You don't have to use hemp oil wax or the hemp oil itself, but these are just as amazing for your timber. And any of these can be applied over the stain and glaze or over raw timber or over chalk paint. Um, you cannot apply them over silk finish, so over all-in-one paints, simply because the top coats in them stop these. These products work by penetrating and um, sinking into your finish. So top coats in all-in-one paints stop that from happening. So the product's just gonna sit on top and it's just going to slide. So keep that in mind as well. But chalk paint, milk paints as well. I don't have any milk paint, um, but milk paints are also incredible wood, wax and oil. Uh, chalk paints, milk paints and stain or and or raw timber, okay? So you've got lots and lots of options and I'm going to show you 
why I do this and why I like hemp oil. Now the technique that I'm about to show you, I use with waxes and with oils. You can do it with any of them um, and it's easy across all of them, okay? And I show this in my workshop as well because it's an incredible way to get a finish and it's well worth the few extra minutes of effort um, and product, absolutely. So right now, our timber is, it's just got the stain on it and have a play around, have a really, I love saying use your touch when you're doing any sort of, anything with timber and with paint because it feels different when you put your wax or your oil on it. But, and between before, that didn't make sense. That wasn't a good sentence, I apologize. <laughs> I'm so shocking with sentences today. <laughs> Anybody who's coming will uh, um, agree with that. So, have a really, really good feel of it. So, timber, whether it's raw or not, often feels quite rough. Uh, raw timber, even though you've heavily sanded it, it may feel really smooth. But when you put a top coat or when you put um, a wax or an oil on, on it, you will often find that it will all of a sudden feel fuzzy, feel a little bit rough and not feel as nice. So that is completely natural and that is exactly what has happened when we put our um, stain on it this morning. The fibres naturally stand up and that's what you're now feeling. You're feeling those fibres standing up. It is completely normal, don't panic. Uh, and it's very, very easy to fix. And this is why I love this technique for timber in particular. You can do this over paint, um, but over timber, it's amazing. So I've just got my hemp oil. Once you've opened your hemp oil, I like to just keep it in a bag. Your bottle gets quite sticky. Uh, hemp oil works by reacting with the oxygen in the air. It is a very natural chemical reaction um, and it hardens. So it, if it's too much on your surface, it actually becomes really sticky. So it's really important that we buff this and I will show you that in a moment. So when I've, once I've opened my oil, I always keep it in a bag and I keep any cloths, etc., that I use with it as well. Um, my microfibers, uh, we'll see how we go. I might need a new one. After a while, it just builds up to the point where it, there's just too much in there. And then I've also got my brush. So. If you just sort of leave this all out in the air, your brush will harden and you won't be able to use it. But by keeping it in the bag with everything, it just sort of stops the air from accessing it and it goes a little bit sticky, but it's still usable, okay? So let's grab our, we'll see how that goes. I might have to grab another one. Chuck you down there. Now, you will need some sandpaper for this technique. Um, you can use any that you like. It does not have to be a wet and dry sandpaper at all. Um, I use whatever I've got on hand, really. Um, actually, I have never even checked if this is a wet and dry. It doesn't say on it. I don't think it is. Uh, this one's just a Bunnings one. It's got, I think it's got a yellow tag on it. They come in little rolls. It's called Flexovit. They come in, I think it's like a meter roll. Um, you can get, you want to be working with a fine grade. So I'm using, it doesn't actually say, it says 420, 492, but, oh no, it was 400, sorry. It does say 400, it's just been cut. So I'm using 400. You don't want to go any finer with that. Ideally, I would be using 1,000 grit or more, um, but 400 is fine for what we're about to do. So. You do not have to decant your oil. I like to, it's up to you. I am, I'm a bit lazy and I don't like washing extra things that I don't need to wash. Although I don't wash, I don't wash my brush. I don't wash my cloth. I just keep using it. Once it's gotten to the point where my brush is completely falling apart, I've been using this about six months um, and I use it a lot. But once you get to the point where your cloth's just crap, um, pop it in the bin grab a new one okay um don't keep when, once it gets to that point and you'll know once it gets to that point of not being usable it's not worth trying to wash it um you're not going to get the hemp oil out so keep that in mind as well all right let me stop talking and let's show you what i'm trying to show you so hemp oil i pour it straight out of the bottle when you order it you'll get it's got a solid lid on it but if i remember and i do try to you should get a little cap 
thing as well. And if I forget, well, let me know because I will send it out to you. Um, so I just pour it straight on my surface and I'm going to, before I start, thank you for your order, whoever just placed an order. All right, sorry, I'm gonna move you because I want you to see what I'm doing really, really well. All right, there we go. So it's feeling a bit rough. Let's make it baby bottom smooth. So um, I like to pour it straight onto the surface. Uh, it does not matter if you do this in sections. This is not worth the stain, okay? So you can do it in sections if you feel it's necessary. Uh, you do not have to do the entire surface at once. I'm going to do half of it, and then I'm going to leave the other half first just to show you the difference, and this is why I do this. So you don't need heaps. Pour a little bit on. Uh, you don't have to pour it straight onto your surface if you're not comfortable with it. Um, and you don't want to pour heat. So just a little bit. This is probably more than enough for this piece almost. Okay, grab your brush. These brushes are like two or three dollars um, and they just go and go and go. They're a natural bristle. I do like to use a natural bristle. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna spread that oil out. Don't stress if you've missed bits, but this, all you're doing is you're spreading it out because then we're gonna use our sandpaper, okay? So make sure you get those edges as well. Now some timbers are drier and they're gonna wrinkle this in really, really fast, okay? Some timbers though are a lot newer like these and it's not gonna drink in as much. So I just sort of spread it out. We're gonna do about half first and then we'll do the other half. So I'll show you the full table, but I wanna show you the difference. And I wish you could like reach out and touch this but when you get your hand on wax or oil, again, same process for both. Wax, any direction you like, you don't have to stick to a direction. Same as the oil. When you have a go at this, and I really hope you will, I want you to take your fingers, I want you to have a feel. Have a feel of it before the oil, have a feel of it with the oil. It's going to feel oily. You're going to have the oil on your fingers, okay? Then you're gonna come in with your sandpaper. And all you're gonna do, yeah, you do need to lock the sand very lightly. You're going to let the sandpaper do the work. You do need to make sure that you're using a finer grit. I would not go less than 400. Um, remembering that the smaller the number, the rougher the paper. So 80 grit is what you use for prep. 400 plus is what you use for finishing, okay? Um, you need to let the sandpaper do the work. You need to go very lightly. Uh, you, do, you don't want to start taking off your actual stain. If you do this too hard, you're going to take off your stain and you're going to damage that. Uh, and then you've got to start all over again, okay? So don't be scared, it's very easy, but take your sandpaper and all you're going to do is following the grain, which is the lines in the wood, you're very gently just going to slide up and down, or sand up and down, slide. Sand up and down. And this is what's going to give you that really nice finish. Now you can just sand your stain, but to be honest, I don't think it's as nice a finish. Um, the oil just really deepens it. It brings out the true color. It brings out the grain of the timber and it just makes it look really nice, okay? And it nourishes the timber as well. So hemp oil, uh, Pure Eco's hemp oil, it's Australian made and owned, of course. It is also um, pulled from the first press of hemp, so there's no nasty chemicals in it, okay? So it's um, as, as pure as it can get and it's really, really beautiful to do. So up and down. So I'm just going to do a bit at a time. All right, so when you've done it for a minute or two, take your fingers again and have a feel. You will straight away notice this side where I haven't touched, I can still feel the roughness of the timber. This side, it feels so smooth and so nice. So your touch really is your best friend for this technique, okay? And then we'll do the whole section. So just standing back and forth, you're just going gently, I'm letting the sandpaper do the work. Right. Now sometimes, uh, you can do this over paint as well, sometimes you might find that there's a bit of colour 
coming off onto your paper, don't panic. That is normal. It's just some of the product that's still sitting on the very top uh, that hasn't sunk into the timber, etc. Particularly with paint, you will often see it. Um, it's normal, all right? So don't worry. And you will often see that more so with wax than with the oil, all right? So we're just gently going back and forth. Again, having a good feel. And don't forget your edges as well. And, and this end as well. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come in with your cloth. I like to use microfiber cloths, but you just wanna be using a lint-free cloth. I like microfiber because they're pretty much always lint-free unless you get a really poor quality one. Um, I like Aldi ones. They often come in bulk packs. Uh, actually, the bag that I'm using for the hemp oil is a 12 pack, but I think I've gotten them in like a 30 pack as well. Um, I really, really like these ones and I like the quality of them. Okay, so just fold your... I like to fold it and hold it in my hand. Gives you a little bit more control. And all you're going to do is you're just gonna sort of, you can go in any direction you like, but you're just gonna buff it. And this is removing that excess oil. So that oil that's still sitting on the surface, this is removing all of that, okay? This is also, doing this technique will also give you a little bit more shine. The stain and glaze is incredibly matte. Um, so this is going to lift it a little bit more as well. Let me just turn this over. You just wanna keep rotating your cloth. That way you're not just reapplying the oil each time. Making sure I get the ends and the edges. Right, I might just, I'm just gonna grab a different cloth because this one's definitely got way too much on it. Give me two seconds. Way out and it is okay. Fresh, clean one, so you can see. Oh, too far. So, these are the same color cloth from the same packet. So, this one's got a lot of oil in it, and you can really, really feel it. And I can also feel it's gone quite hard as well, where it started to sort of set. But this is the brand new one, so again, just giving it a buff. And you'll also notice any bits that you've missed when you're sanding, your sandpaper is going to catch it. I've got people looking at me through the window. It's always fun, isn't it? I'm trying to hide away down here. So then you're gonna come back in and you're gonna have a really nice feel um, of that top because that is so incredibly silky smooth now. I cannot explain how nice that feels. I'm very, very tactile. I like to touch things um, and I like to touch anytime I walk into a shop, I'm touching everything that I can. I'm like a kid, um, I've got to touch. And I love to touch the tops of furniture. I love to see how they feel. And that feels absolutely incredible. It is so nourishing for that timber. It's gonna hydrate it. It's going to bring out the color more. It's gonna bring out the green more. And if you go back now to the start of the video, after when, when I'm not filming and when I'm not live, if you go back and have a look at what it looked like before I did that, you'll see the difference as well. Uh, with the darker colors, you'll often see the difference more. With the lighter colors, you won't see it as much, but you can definitely see it. So can you see, I'm not sure how well the camera is showing it, but can you see the very slight, this looks very dull, very matte, you can't, you can see the grain, but it's not in your face and it's not popping out. Whereas this is really, you can really see this grain. Um, you can see the slight color difference as well. And it's just so nice to touch. And it's, the hemp oil is gonna protect this finish even more. Okay, so let's finish it. Where'd I put my oil? Down here. 
So again, just a little bit. You don't need lots. You don't want to put too much on because what's going to, because, not because, <laughs> that was poor English. Um, because what's going to happen is if you've got too much on there, it's just going to turn into a sticky mess as it starts to cure. Okay, so it's about a 30 day cure time. So let's spread this out, making sure that I get that lip. I'm just going to have a feel. So I sort of stopped about there. There's still plenty available as well for anybody who wants to order it. You can get some. It's 20% off. I don't think, I don't have a price sticker on this one, so I can't tell you how much it is, but I can have a look in a second for you as well. So getting all these edges. So again, it doesn't matter if you miss bits when you're brushing it on because your sandpaper is going to spread it around as well, okay? And if you're using wax, it's the exact same technique. Um, only thing with wax is often you'll find you've got a little bit more on your surface. So I like to take a plastic spatula, like a cooking one, a flexible one, and sort of scrape it, pop it onto the next section um, after you finish. So sand, scrape, pop it onto the next section, and then, and then spread that out. So you can keep using it. Oil's a little bit harder to do that. You could if you wanted to, but with wax, you can still use that wax. So don't just wipe it all up with your cloth. Okay? So spread it out. Come with your sandpaper again. And really, you're going lightly, okay? Let the sandpaper do the work. Don't sit there and put heaps of pressure on it because you're just going to wear through your finish. Anyone else will love that sound of sanding, like the sandpaper, I love that sound. Oops. Making sure that I'm just getting this edge where I sort of stopped before. Normally I do the entire top, okay? Just like that. So it's for a piece this size, you're looking at maybe two to five minutes. It's not loads and loads of work. If it's really rough timber, it's gonna take you a couple of minutes more. Um, but these are really, really nice. So a couple of minutes is really all I'm looking at here. So it's not a lot of work and not a lot of time, but it's got a massive result and so massive reward to it. All right, so having a feel. See where it still needs some. Over here, I can feel it's still a little bit rough. And you do want to go lightly around your edges as well. Oftentimes, you will find there's not quite as much stain there as everywhere else, so you will take it off that little bit easier, okay? So you do just want to go that little bit lightly there. All right, sorry. A little bit more there. All right, that feels really, really nice. So again, have a feel of it. See what it feels like with the oil on. Come on with your cloth. Did I do these edges? No. Hang on. Do your edges <laughs> and then come in with your cloth. Give it a good bath. And then what I'm gonna do, once I've done this, I'm gonna let them dry overnight and I'm gonna be back here tomorrow. And in about 12, 24 hours, so tomorrow morning, sort of mid-morning, um, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna buff them a second time. I'm not gonna do another application of the oil. If your timber is overnight and you've let it dry, you've let it do its thing, if you come in and it's feeling really dry, you can go in with another coat, okay? You don't have to stop at one. I don't see any need to do a second coat on these. But if you come back and it's starting to feel really dry and quite rough and like it needs it needs more, then absolutely go back, do a second coat, okay? But for the most part, one coat is normally where you can stop. All right, so give it a good buff. 
and I'll come back tomorrow morning and I'll give it a second buff. And that second buff is just going to make sure that, um, that any oil that's still sitting on that surface, any oil that's not gonna soak in um, is gone, okay? You don't wanna leave that on the surface because as it cures and as it hardens, it is going to um, become quite tacky and obviously you don't want you don't want a tacky piece of furniture okay like the sticky not <laughs> you got what i mean <laughs> um so that's it give it a good bath and then just pop it aside so i would happily start using this within a couple of day a couple of days um but just go easy okay um always go easy sort of that first seven to ten days but then you can use it hemp oil takes 30 days to fully cure um of course dependent on your environment but 30 days is about where it is but i would start using this within the seven to ten days absolutely so that's that one would you like to see me do this again on the other one or are you happy with that those who are watching because i'm i'm doing it anyway so i'm happy to show you a second time if you like all right that feels absolutely amazing I'll do the second one. I'm here anyway, and I'm going to do it. So I'll do it, but you don't have to watch because you've already seen it. So I'm going to repeat the exact process again. Let me pop it out of the fridge. Grab the other one. All right. Turn you around. Where are we? So we're still in camera. There we are. Cloth, sandpaper, and oil. All right, let's do the whole top this time. So for even, say, a sideboard top, I would do the entire top. I would hemp oil the whole thing, um, and then, um, yeah, I would hemp oil the same, whole thing, do the sanding, and then buff it. Uh, it's not going to dry like it would a wax or a, uh, sorry, a top coat or a paint it's going to so you've got plenty of time to work with it same as the stain and glaze you've got sorry the stain and glaze dries quite quickly so you don't have to sort of just work you don't have to work super fast you can take your time um, i would at the very least get it all spread out and give it a very quick initial buff if i was to like walk away from it i wouldn't just leave it sitting on there for an extended period and if you do have an issue where for some reason you've needed to walk away, say there's an emergency or something, and you haven't had a chance to buff it, go in with some really hot soapy water and you will be able to save it. You'll be able to get it off. Um, it happens, yeah, we have all got emergencies sometimes, so it can happen. So if you do have that, it's not the end of the world. So that was, pro that was quite a lot of oil. It was probably almost too much, but it's fine because we are going to sit here and we are going to buff it off, okay? Okay, so make sure you get your edges. You don't want to miss your edges, but look, if you do, if you come back, I've, I always miss something when I'm painting things. The other day I missed like the entire leg of one of these tables when I was painting it. So if you miss a bit, not the end of the world, you can just go back and touch it up. All right, so oil spread out and I wonder if I can get that. So you can see the oil sitting on the surface. See that shine? Um, I don't think there's a few bits where I can see it's really soaking in, but I don't think the camera is going to show you that. No, not really. This is like I need you all sitting in here watching it because then you could see that. All right, so again, same piece of sandpaper. Um, once I'm finished with this, I'll just pop this piece of sandpaper in my little bag in here. And I will use it again and again until it's no longer usable, okay? So again, standing up and down, letting the sandpaper do the work. If you've got questions, please ask. Don't hesitate to ask. Do that. And I can tell you it comes in... 125 mil, which is $20, and the 500 mil, which is, because I did tell you, I'll do this now before I forget. I can tell you, but I'll tell you how much it is. The 500 mils are $49, and they are on sale as well. So they're 20% off until midnight tonight. Uh, the website's in the description of this video. 
Um, so you've still got plenty of time to grab it if you would like it. And the stain that we used this morning was Carob in Purico Stain and Glaze. So, fanning away, just a couple of minutes. Have a good feel of it as well. Make sure any bits that you might miss. I always miss these like corners and the edges. The floor is really uneven in here. That's why it's rocking. It's not because of the table. The floor, it's an old bank and it's a very, very uneven in a few spots. So have a feel of it. If you buff and then realize that you've missed a bit, you can then apply a little bit more as well, okay? So only do this technique with um, hemp oil or wax. Don't do it with a top coat. Top coats you cannot do this with. And this is why I always use hemp oil and wax. I don't like using top coats most of the time, but I actually don't like using them on timber. I don't like the feel of them at all. I definitely prefer this. And honestly, this is just as durable when it comes to timber. I have hemp oil on my dining table at home. I've got two young kids. Um, my, hu my husband uses it as a... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my husband uses our dining table as a desk as well so it gets a lot of very heavy use and it's beautiful and if I ever did need to reapply and smooth it back down so it's had a few too many knocks you can just reapply it yeah so it's not like a top coat where you then have to sand it back and start over okay and this is why I like wax and oil because it is super easy just to touch it up whenever it needs it. And it's not a product that you constantly have to reapply. I know there's a bit of a misconception out there that you do need to reapply it constantly, but you honestly don't need to. All right, that's feeling really nice. Let's give it a buff. So we've got our cloth. Thank you so much for your order, whoever just placed one. I'm gonna have a busy few days packing orders, I think. So, just sort of wiping off the most of it so you can see it sitting there on my cloth. Flip my cloth over to a fresh side. Get those edges as well. And then sort of, you wanna remove most of it and then come in with your bit of elbow and just give it a bit of a buff. Beautiful, and have a feel of it. So this side's still got wax on it, uh, it's still got oil on it, it's still very oily. This side feels smooth as butter. It's really nice, okay? Or smooth as a baby's bum is what I say. Beautiful, and it's really nourishing for your skin as well. So don't, don't be worried about getting it on your skin. Same as wax, unless of course you're using a wax. These waxes are all natural. They don't have any nasty solvents in them. But if you are using a wax with solvents in it, um, just follow the manufacturer's directions with that too. But all the products that I'm using and that I've talked about today are all eco-friendly. They don't have any nasties in them. And I've got no issues getting them on my skin at all or using them around my kids, which I think is really important when we've got these choices now to choose the nicer products that aren't going to harm us. So, feeling really nice. I'm just along this back bit here. I sort of missed a bit. So, little tiny dab of oil. I'm just gonna do a little bit, a couple of drops. Come in with my brush. I'm just very gently going to brush that along there just to spread it out. So, this is really easy. If this was top coat, I'd have to wait for it to fully dry and then I'd have to come back and do it again. Again, really lightly. Having a fit. Oh yeah, that's better. So it, it's only a few seconds. This timber's quite smooth already. Um, yes, it feels rough. If it was a rougher timber, it would take a little bit more. But this feels really lovely already. Beautiful. 
So you can see, uh, actually I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. I think it sort of is. It's got a very, very slight shine still. So as this dries, you will lose most of the shine, but you can definitely still have a bit of a shine. So it's not a flat, flat finish, but it's not like a satin or a gloss either. It's sort of between a matte and a satin. So, all done. Does anyone have any questions before I do jump off? There's a few of you still watching. Let's turn the camera back up. Any questions before I jump off? If you've got questions afterwards, just um, pop them in the comments or send me a message as well because I'm more than happy to answer any that you have. But very, very easy products to use. So I've used the Carib Stain and Glaze and then we're finished with the Pure Co hemp finishing oil so that's the bottle it's this really nice color oil too okay so um and then the actual bed size that blue that's on them is um pure eco's chalk finish in the color reef which is this one here okay so that's the color can you apply it over a matte paint yes you can yes Yep. So you can apply it over um, chalk paint, you can apply it over um, milk paint as well. You can apply it over, say, a, an acrylic, say a sample pot from Bunnings, you can. Um, you just will find that it won't work very well over any paint that has a built-in top coat, like Pure Eco Silk Finish. Uh, the hemp oil does cure, so it will work to an extent, but it's not going to do what ideally you'd be applying it to do. You want it to soak in, you want it to nourish your timber um, or nourish your paint as well. So it would soak into the paint and it would create a nice hard finish. Any other questions? There's people looking at me. All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have learned a lot. I really hope that you all have a go with oil or with wax, um, have a go either on a piece of furniture or just on a scrap piece of wood. Um, and definitely have a go over chalk paint as well. It's a really great way to create a really beautiful finish. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have questions, please, please do not hesitate to message. Our birthday sale ends midnight tonight and it is 20% off site wide and we do stock the entire pure eco range in fact i think i'm one of the only stockers that do does carry the entire range so plenty and plenty plenty to choose from and nothing can sell out either so jump on have a look and uh let me know if you've got any questions thank you so much for watching have a wonderful sunday afternoon bye everyone